the subject I, I was told to talk, to, to, to talk about uh, has been a real challenge for me. I am, I'm an economist. And uh, so uh, I, I started to, to look deeper into a country where, as of now, I, I have been living for almost 20 years. And so to speak, it was high time to try to get uh, myself a clearer understanding. And so at first, I have tried to give a few uh, let's say aphorisms yeah, that I invented about Brazil to, to get closer to the country. Now, Brazil as I see it, <clears throat> and I would say, uh, definitely speaking from a European or more specific a German perspective, Brazil is a country without history because uh, its past is still present. And uh, so when we look, let's say, at, on European countries, uh, we have closed chapters, yeah? But in Brazil, uh, none of its history is, so to speak, a closed uh, chapter. The second uh, idea, everything is mestizo. It's a Portuguese expression, a mixture, nah? uh, mixed like the population. No. The economy is mixed, very mixed. The nature is mixed and so on. And in this sense, uh, slavery is still as much present as the monarchy. Uh, one has to imagine that for decades, Brazil had a monarchy, a European monarchy, part of it Habsburg origin. And uh, this happened at the same time when there was still slavery. Nah. And there's also a, a big strain of, of anarchism in, in Brazil. Uh, in part, uh, from the natural environment, uh, there's an uh, anarchist tendency. The, the, the size of the country invites uh, anarchist behavior, where you can go out, where you can go away from the state power. And anarchism was also brought in by, by Italian uh, immigrants na, together with some socialist ideas. So in Brazil, you find anything. yeah. And as you find anything you want to, to, to look for, you, you, you have it and you can pin uh, any of these concepts on Brazil. And they are true, but only half true. No? Um, Brazil's economy, society, and culture escapes uh, definition because there are no clear contours. No? Uh, uh, it also it already happens with the landscape, with the society, uh, in the cities. Yeah, like say you you come to Paris or London. In a few days, you know your way around uh, in a certain way because there are landmarks, monuments, churches, and so on. And there's nothing like that uh, uh, in, in Brazil. So you, you don't have this kind of focus or points of orientation. This also happens with the cities. Yeah, I show a picture of the city where I live. And when you take the picture, of the skyline, it can be any other city in Brazil. It can put be Sao Paulo, part of Sao Paulo, for example, although it's 2,000 kilometers away. And uh, like the imagery of the early paintings of the tropical place or paradise, Brazil is kaleidoscopic. And uh, something else that I think I, 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 I discovered uh, the same space, the same locality, uh, close by uh, each other is hell and paradise at the same same time. Um, finally, the Brazilian course of development, the trajectory 
the 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 development as 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 one can say yes uh, the hegelian process or something like that or even even the the the, the marxian process if you like these things um uh, is neither up nor down nor flat it is everything at the same time so uh, brazil is this peculiar place where you have progress constant progress and constant regress at the same time. No? And this makes it hard uh, uh, to understand uh, the country, especially as a, a European. So uh, the, first, the first couple of years I made, I made this joke in, in Brazil when, when, when students ask me, why are you still here? What are you doing here? Why, why do you say, I, I can't go back to Europe. I can't go back to Germany. Because when I go back, my colleagues ask me, to explain, explain this country to me. Tell me about the economy. And I have to say, I have no idea how it works. Yes. <laughs> and uh, <clears throat> um, so there's the saying, uh, God is Brazilian. Nah? But I interpret it as the, uh, uh, the hidden God, no? the God that is unknown to human understanding, which is the deep, deeper meaning of this uh, biblical idea. Uh, like God, Brazil is fundamentally unknowable, no? with its essence forever hidden. No? Uh, so it is fairly easy to, to get an idea, no? idea about France, what is France about, what is Spain about, yeah? even, even what is Portugal about. No? But you cannot, you cannot say that about uh, Brazil. And as, as Hans has mentioned, the, the popular image, of course, is a very kaleidoscopic image, yeah, with a race uh, uh, man uh, 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 of, of race cars, very modern, very technological, yes, and then the idea of, of, of the beaches and the palms and so on, and the football, of course, and it's all a mixture that makes little sense, that, that does not fit together, so to speak. Uh, this is Brazil, yeah, exactly this way, it's hidden, uh, no contours. Uh, you have some idea where the path is going, but it's hard to find a way, no? And uh, on the other side, there is this uh, idyllic uh, depiction yeah, that has come over, that was... Uh, uh, promoted uh, under the monarchy, no? the, the peaceful, uh, the tropical uh, uh, country with nice people, and here you have these beautiful Indians, you have happy slaves, no? and so this on the right uh, south side seem to be the uh, conquistadores, the, the exploradores, uh, the, who are well dressed and very peaceful looking. So this is, uh, of course, a completely false uh, picture of what has been going on in in Brazil and is still still going on. Uh, Sao Paulo, uh, a desert of stone. Uh, you don't know where you are, a mega city, economically extremely strong, high income, it could be at the top countries per capita, yeah, but about 40% of the overall GDP come from the state of, of Sao Paulo, no? So this is a peculiar reality. And on the other side where, where I live here, in the in the northeast, uh, the, the old part of the country, where the settlers and the conquistadores first came, and where the slave trade uh, took place, but uh, the city, as you see, uh, looks just the same as Sao Paulo. a mess of uh, houses, uh, high-rises, 
uh, about 20, 30 uh, sizes. And on the, on the other side, you have right beside, you, it takes uh, half an hour uh, to get out of the city and you will be in this uh, tropical paradise. No? Where also there's infrastructure, as you can see, there are boats, there are, you can have a meal and so on. So this is also typical of, of, of Brazil. Um, as a European, uh, I'm always struck and never end being struck by the size of this country. And of course, I could give you the square miles or kilometers. But if you see here, just in this middle part, you have Germany in the size. You have the United Kingdom. You have Spain, France, big European countries, yes. And so a large part of the European continent would only occupy a, a short, a, a, a small part of Brazil. No? Uh, so uh, there are continental uh, dimensions and, uh, and still uh, uh, a population of uh, slightly over 200 million. So this feeling for me, at least, that I had and still have is, okay, you, go, you can go on, yeah? The population can grow, yeah? They can grow for decades and decades and, 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 uh, uh, and more. And the, the land waits for you. No? That's a feeling one uh, probably had in the United States, but in the meanwhile, uh, it's no longer this case as it is in, in, in Brazil. So, uh, the funny thing is, and, and, and I'll, I'll show a graph about that uh, later on, that uh, there is no immigration, no immigration. No? Nobody seems... Uh, 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 to come, <laughs> like to come to Brazil, yeah, not even from the surrounding countries, yeah, and there's uh, actually some kind of emigration uh, going on. The hot places for the Brazilians are, of course, uh, having a relative, uh, uh, a grandfather, who had uh, citizenship of Italy or Germany and so on, and, or Spain and get a passport, a European passport. That's one of the ambitions of the young. And if it does not work, uh, the other group uh, likes to go or dreams about going to the United States. No? There is no much uh, uh, yeah, energy. Uh, okay, let's stay here. Let's do something. Let's, let's, let's make Brazil great in this thing, in this sense. Maybe things will change now, yeah? Uh, come to that uh, later about the new government. So, to give a structure of, of the country, you have, you have this gigantic Amazon. Uh, if you look at it, you can, you can take five big uh, European countries and put it there. Yeah, you can put Germany, France, Spain and still places left, and because down there, from the lots of grass and forests, there is uh, marshland, uh, some jungle, and uh, the cattle farms, and the movement for what is here called deforestation is only a small part. So, the recent news about uh, fires in the Amazon, I mean, uh, already the idea that uh, 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 a jungle, uh, rain, rain jungle, uh, could burn is is a little bit strange, and uh, <coughs> so further down, you have uh, the area 
where they have uh, 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 milk cattle, milk production. It's called the land of the cheese. And further down, you have Sao Paulo. Yeah, you see the GDP. Yeah, across the medic, that's the place where, where work is going on. Yeah, it, it's it's hard to understand that in this GDP uh, here and pollution, uh, uh, 40% of the overall uh, across the domestic product is is being made. No, see, it's a uh, the heartland, the, the economic uh, uh, pulse of the country. No? And then you have uh, uh, further south, uh, the countries of the yeah, European non-Portuguese uh, immigrants. It's called here Brazilian Russia. No? These are, there are a lot of, it's Paraná, there are a lot of uh, immigrants from the Ukraine, uh, from Poland, along with Germans. Yes, uh, this part, and then where it's called Nazis and beaches, the beautiful beaches in Santa Catarina. It's a state that is almost yeah, completely German of, of origin. Yeah, and further down is Rio Grande do Sul, a gigantic country uh, in itself. I, I took a bus ride, I had a, 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 a the commission uh, at the at the Uruguayan border, and I took a bus from uh, from Porto Alegre to the south, and I, I, I slept for hours. I woke up, still there, still riding on, still all flat. No, then I slept again, and uh, it seemed it didn't even end uh, so 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 long, so far, and so wide. And of course, a lot of uh, cattle breeding going on, and this is uh, settled also mainly by Germans, but it has a very leftist tradition and a very, uh, yeah, what's called here, uh, LGDB, LGBT, a very, yeah, progressive uh, attitude. Uh, these are the progressives, progressives down there. And it's also the country, the state of, of uh, Schiesel, Bündchen. Yeah, so, so, so something positive. <laughs> um, this is uh, the contradiction that I feel again and again. Yeah, our winter time is in December. Our summer time, high summer, is it always confused? Is in, in, in December, and this is also the time when you see uh, the Santa Claus walking around in the European style, well protected against cold and snow, and uh, so it gives you a kind of, of absurd feeling and paradoxical way, uh, and, and uh, the, the Santa Claus is very popular all over in the shopping centers and so on. Children can go there, and he's very, very, very all in the traditional style. And now already the malls are full. That They start already now uh, preparing for Christmas, which is a, a big, big thing in Brazil. So you have, uh, let's say, a European tradition uh, Christianity, you have Christmas and so on, you feel almost in this sense at home, yeah, and at the same time the climate is, is, is the opposite, which makes a lot of confusion. Yeah, I, I still have to concentrate uh, when I write down uh, a date, uh, uh, which, mon which, which month uh, am I in? I always have to think. Yeah, in, in Europe, you just knew it. You looked outside and you knew uh, which months it is. Just from the climate, from the temperature, you knew it was winter or summer or, or August. August looked different than, than September. But I, I always have no idea. Are we really September? Do I think? So these are the strange things that happen to a gringo, a gringo in Brazil. Huh? A friend of mine has just uh, published his book, yeah, and it's called Gringo. Huh? And he, uh, has, uh, he has written a novel uh, where he talks about uh, similar experiences. Huh? Everybody is gringo in Brazil who's not a Brazilian. So a person from Latin America, Paraguay, is also a gringo. No? They are the, the strangers. No? And, uh, and a thesis I, I have is the following. Almost all ethnic groups 
overall in Brazil are a minority. Uh, let's say Italian uh, ancestry, German ancestry, uh, uh, blacks and so on, Indians. In, in overall, they are all a minority. But what counts for the daily life is uh, how is your situation in a concrete way. And uh, so we can have a, a look at, at this map, which shows the simple fact that, for example, most Germans live in the South and they are not a, 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 a minority there. They're actually a majority, yes. Uh, most uh, Ukrainian Poles and so on are in, in Parana. They don't feel as a minority, yeah. Most uh, black people uh, live in Bahia. This is this about 20, 20%, yeah, whites, 80% uh, colored, yeah, which means the, the black persons there uh, have, cannot have the feeling of being a minority because in their state, their state sort of, they are, they are a majority, no? like the whites in the south, 80%, no? and uh, up to Sao Paulo and so on, uh, 60% uh, in, 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 in Paraná, no? uh, Santa Catarina 70%, uh, 80% Santa Catarina, Paraná 70%, Sao Paulo 60%. Yeah? So uh, there, there is not really this, this point of, of being a minority, to have the feeling of minority. Overall you are. But uh, where you live and where your existence is, where you go uh, uh, after your daily life, yeah, most people live there where they are in a certain way uh, a majority. The, the, the rate of the white people, as they call it here, <coughs> is now about 43%, uh, but it was, was much higher in the 60s was over 60, and there were even expectations uh, by anthropologists and so on, and demographers, who projected that the white population would uh, reach 80%, yeah? but the opposite happened. In part, in part, the opposite happened because after the 60s, Immigration from Europe basically stopped, and not just from Europe, but uh, from all over the world. Yeah. Also, there was a strong, strong immigration in the beginning of the 20th century of Japanese. In Sao Paulo, there's a strong Japanese community which now has uh, several million, yeah? And uh, so this, of course, stopped. Uh, has been going on some immigration from Portugal, but even from the neighboring countries, uh, Paraguay, Argentina, and so on, there has been no, no immigration. No? This is the ethnic uh, distribution where one has to take into account that this center bar, the huge center bar, is uh, not very populated. It's, it's largely empty. No? So the, what counts is the southern part in population, uh, the, the coastal part, and the western frontier, which is the new wild west. Of, of Brazil where the entrepreneurs are going and primarily work in the agricultural sector and, and area. No? And you see, for example, in the area where uh, Sao Paulo, no? south of the, north of the uh, German flag, where, where the, the, this, this German dominance, you have the strong Italian dominance. So one can say, who industrialized Brazil? And the answer is the Italians, together with the Japanese 
and the help of the Germans. That is the, the history of uh, Brazilian industrialization. Uh, the North uh, is, to uh, use this term, underdeveloped. The Northeast is underdeveloped and, and poor, so I live in the, in the poor part. And uh, the West, this Western part, is, is strongly on the, on the rise, uh, accelerated by the immense production and productivity of the agricultural sector, with gigantic exports going to China and the Middle East. Now, these are the big, big, big markets uh, nowadays. Now, and here, as I, as I said, the immigration It had a peak uh, uh, at the turn of the century. And uh, till the 60s, it's practically non-existence. Now, hardly anybody uh, moves in, moves into the, uh, uh, Brazil. Uh, it's not attractive for, uh, for the, yeah, the, the new global type. No? Uh, that, 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 that has emerged and uh, there is no chance for the poor people uh, and, and uh, lowly qualified people to come because the country has enough uh, itself. That's a simple reason that it's unattractive. Yeah, so when you're uh, high uh, educated, highly educated, uh, let's say, a Paraguayan or, or Argentinian, uh, you would try to go to Europe or, or to the US, uh, but never think about going to Brazil. And if you uh, have only chance to work in a factory or, or, or uh, as a mate, uh, you also won't go to Brazil because uh, there's a lot of competition there. Um, this is uh, interesting statistics I find uh, to know uh, what happened uh, with, the, with the Brazilian takeoff, nah? uh, who, who, who were the accelerating ethnic ethnicities, nah? and uh, that's the business owner, owners of industry in the 60s. No, and you have this strict, this is high dominance of the of the Italians and the old Brazilian group and the Portuguese and the Germans and the Syrian and Lebanese. That was also a strong uh, uh, group uh, of of immigrants uh, that came. The Japanese that that came and uh, moved out into the countryside of Sao Paulo. Uh, where they set up small farms. They are the, the uh, they, 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 they uh, grow uh, vegetable and, and, and all, all this stuff. And they were not so dominant in, in, the, in the industry. And you see also the income distribution. And you see the richer part and the poorer part. No? And it correlates very well uh, what Christiane showed uh, this morning about the voting behavior. No? So the richer people voted for Bolsonaro and the poorer people for the Labour Party. And especially my state is uh, a stronghold of the PT and of the leftist in Sashipi here. And of course, you have this whole region, light blue, which is poorer, and the leftist part. Uh, a few words to the to the origin. Uh, and uh, Brazil uh, was given uh, to the Portuguese. It was not conquered. Uh, it was not. Uh, 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 discovered in, in the traditional sense, but there's a treaty of Tordesillas where the Pope decided, before, uh, before Brazil was known 
the, uh, of its existence, that was in, in 515, uh, 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 that the eastern part of the new territories would belong to Brazil and the meridian would divide uh, these two uh, spheres of influence and Portugal set up yeah, this, this state-controlled kind of organization. Yes, yeah? you can see it looks very artificial. Yeah? So the, they divided in strips their part yeah? and gave uh, the individual part to private citizens yeah, with the direction developed there. That's your part. So already from here, you have the uh, origin of the confusion uh, in Brazil uh, between what is private, what is public. Yeah? You were given public uh, uh, terrain uh, by the king and to develop, in other words, to exploit it uh, as, 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 you, as you wish. And this is the origin of the, of the Brazilian states uh, that, that would come later. Uh, <clears throat> just a few words um, about uh, slavery. And as you can see from uh, uh, these flows, uh, and compared to the United States, uh, Brazil has been the major importer of slaves throughout the, the centuries. No? It's a number, yeah, uh, with the rest. Uh, in the United States, it's relatively few. No? And here we talk about close to, to five million. No? Which also means that, that taking the current population, that uh, black people in the US could uh, reproduce, could grow, uh, could multiply, uh, while uh, the black, poor black uh, population in Brazil is still, so to speak, a min minority. Uh, that means uh, a lot of these uh, slaves uh, 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 died uh, uh, at the workplace uh, through to exhaustion and brutal uh, treatment. Um, nowadays, this idea of, of race and, and, and racismo yeah, uh, is getting imported uh, from the United States. Uh, so there's a new identity movement, which is ridiculous, yeah, because as I said, the pure black are, are very yeah, are rare. Yeah, most are mixed uh, 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 with all kinds of, with all shades of gray, all shades of colors. And in the same family, you have uh, one person who is darker, one who is brighter, and so on. And uh, so ridiculous things show up. Uh, I've, had, I've seen this uh, note various times. It says, every one minute, 83 young blacks get killed in Brazil as a result of your racism. Uh, and now I made a short calculation and noted that Brazil is extinct in the meanwhile, including the whites. Yeah. So you see a lot of exaggeration about uh, racism, yeah, uh, often made up, uh, poorly made up. Uh, there are strict laws nowadays. You have to be very careful what you say. And um, there's also a quota system, yeah, which uh, was implanted by the, by the federal uh, government that uh, places that the university are reserved for so-called blacks, but it's hard to prove it. So sometimes from the same parents, yeah, one gets the quota and the other does not get it. And the commission says, well, he looks like a Negro. 
Yeah, and the other doesn't. So the other one doesn't get it. Yeah, it's absolutely ridiculous and absurd and 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 highly risky because uh, you, they get a negative badge. Brazil, a country for everyone. That's the official propaganda. Uh, but as one can see, it is it is. Uh, uh, not a nation in any any sen sense, no. Even even when there are these uh, big events like 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 football and so on, you can see there is a, a, a within the country uh, there are in fact uh, many Brazils, many Brazils. Thank you very much.